Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. Now this was going to be a Cardinals only video, but I found a feed combination that attracted every bird in the neighborhood to my yard at one time. Now what was this feeding combination? Well, I'll answer that question in a few minutes. But first I want to tell you a story about the Cardinal, one that you've probably not heard. Now this story comes from a website named The Cardinal Experience, and I'll leave a link to this source below. So there's a Native American legend that explains the origin of the Northern Cardinal. Once upon a time, a raccoon crossed paths with a wolf, and the raccoon insulted the wolf, and the wolf was understandably upset. The wolf was a predator, and the raccoon was just small prey. So the wolf began chasing the raccoon, and the raccoon ran, and then he climbed into a large tree where he hid on a branch hanging over a creek. And becoming tired from the long chase, the wolf stopped under the same tree to get a drink of water from the creek, and while he was drinking, the wolf saw the raccoon's reflection in the water. He instinctively dove into the creek to catch the coon. That was a terrible mistake. See, the wolf was not a good swimmer, and he nearly drowned trying to get out of the creek. Now, after all of that, the wolf was exhausted, and he decided to take the loss and to take a nap. And as the wolf was sleeping, the raccoon climbed down from the tree and he covered the wolf's eyes with clay from the bottom of the creek. Now, no, that's not nice, right? If you're liking this story so far, please hit the like button for me so that more people can find this video. Anyway, what does all of this have to do with the Northern Cardinal? Well, when the wolf woke up, he could not see through the hardened clay covering his eyes. And he began to whine. And then he moaned. And then he howled very loudly. And his howls echoed through the forest. And one plain looking little brown bird heard the wolf's desperation and came to offer help. The little bird began pecking with his little beak at the clay covering the wolf's eyes. And he pecked and pecked until all of the clay was gone from the wolf's eyes. Now you can imagine how thankful the wolf had to be. And he wanted to repay the little bird. But the bird was a good-hearted Samaritan, and he declined any type of payment for the kind deed. The wolf would not take no for an answer. He took the bird to a place where red rock covers the land, and he crushed some of the red rock with his sharp teeth into a fine powder, and then he mixed that powder with water. Then the wolf began painting the little bird with this red rock mixture. And after the wolf had finished, he declared that the little brown bird was from that moment on a red bird. And from that day forward, all of the little bird's offsprings would be born with beautiful crimson feathers. It's a good story, huh? So I know you want to know what feed combination I used to attract these cardinals and blue jays, brown thrashers, chickadees, tufted titmouses, wrens, doves, a hummingbird, the squirrels, and the rabbit. Don't forget the rabbit. All at the same time, at the same feeder. Well, you may have guessed sunflower seeds and peanuts, but things really started popping after I added dried mealworms to the mix. And I'd never had that many birds in my yard in front of my camera at one time, and it was fantastic. Well, that's all I have for now. Thank you so much for watching. Please check out my channel for more videos like this, and I will see you next time.